Hello, Bim. Get what? We're live in the very posh Hoosier Culture. Want to know how to spell it? Culture. Then it's on the uh, it's on the bush shelter there. Yeah, I know. Shocking. Anyway, it's been pointed out on the video. Don't worry. Just been filming a Let's Explore, and we. We are about to drive home. It's uh, it's quite posh around here. By quite posh, I mean the houses are huge. And a three bedroom house that costs you £270,000. Which is a lot of money. Why is it so dark? Please to know I am shirtless again due to the fact that I've got back in my car and it was like an oven. But you won't see that, so don't worry. Whoa, kamikaze pigeon there. Whoa, another kamikaze pigeon. Nope, it's coming back again. We just had a fly pass from the local pigeons. Oh, brilliant. I didn't walk all the way down here because I couldn't be asked. Actually, I did walk. Did I walk? No, I didn't. I walked back to where the pigeons were. Or did I? No, I didn't come this far down. So anyway, we're now in Risley. It's quite ironic, really, because Risley is famous for having a prison next to the, one of the poshest places around. I saw this camera out, I'm not happy with it. I'll give it a bit of a wipe. I think it might be a bit sweaty. Is that better? Yeah, I think it is. So yeah, another scorchy old day today. As we uh, drive around in the countryside. And I think actually, it's been a long while since I've driven out here, but I think we drive down. Oh, look at that old telephone box on the right. Oh, it's in a field, it's in someone's garden. There you go. HMP Risley. It used to be Risley Remand Centre. It's where they sent all the youth. All the youth. Now it's just a prison where they send all the people. All the people. Yeah, we're in prison. Yeah, bud. Because we're hard. Yeah. Probably, I don't know. A bit like the guy riding the bike. It's the bumps. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, we're now going to drive over the M6, I think. I've seen the bridge, so I assume this is the M6. Yeah, it's the M6. I think. And then again, I don't think it is. I don't know what that motorway was, but it wasn't the M6. So I'm lost. Right. M62, of course it is. That's why I didn't recognise it. So we're now going to go to Ward's Warrington. Oh, this is new. Now, Warrington is famous for its roundabouts. Especially if you go to Kia, Kia, 
that's the point. There's a thing there giving me temperature. That says 19.7, my car says 21, my body says 126 degrees at the minute. It is 17.47 on the 13th of the 8th, 2020. 2020. of them on the M60. Maybe that was the pilot one that they chose. Mm, it's about the same width as well. Mm, interesting. Oh, this is a weird, weird roundabout. Turn right here. Who's he? Who's he? Who's he? Either that's just go straight on. Then go around the roundabout. So it's a new birch wood, isn't it? It's called old old wood now. Though. shaped roundabout. straight on. I don't really want to go to Birmingham. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. That explains why the vehicles behind me were not in my lane. It's not enough signs, but it's very uh, tree woody. They've got plenty of wood around here. <laughs> wood. Got it, so on. Live in Tesco when I uh, get to Wigan. Essentials. Just beer, really. Well, I've got a vodka I need to have a taste of as well. Ugh. I mean, not me, uh, Phil, Phil needs to have a taste of vodka, sorry. Oh, 
that's the light reflecting on the muck on the glass that's causing the problem, isn't it? I don't think there'll be any muck on the glass after that rain we had last night. Got a very funny picture of myself that I took on Snapchat when I went out in that rain, which will be on the uh, the new normal vlog. Uh, this weekend. You've heard of a wet t-shirt? Well, yeah, this is takes it to another level. Right, so we've got left and right, but no signage telling me what, what, what which is which. So let's go right. There's absolutely no signs anywhere. It's a kid there on a bike. That's what he's doing. Oh, he's texting, obviously. Of course he is. He's a kid on a bike. That's what kids on bikes do. They take while they're riding the bike and then they moan when someone knocks them over. <laughs> There's literally no signs anywhere. Oh, there's a sign. <laughs> they're going to cross here. This could, this could be funny. I don't know, she managed to do it. She didn't look very steady on her uh, old, old pins there. Uh, Derek Avenue. No, me neither. I'm going to fill the door again, it's too bloody hot. I'm sure the temperature in the car is completely wrong. What the hell's that? Oh, it's an electric BMW. Doing 30. I assume it's 30 around here. There's nothing telling me otherwise. So. This area looks vaguely familiar, but I'm thinking of somewhere in Blackpool, so it's now. Citizens Advice Bureau is still open. It's very good. And that's a weird pub. The Blackburn. We're not in Blackburn though, we're in. Well, there we are actually. Warrington, I think. Oh, red traffic lights. Another person texting while on a bike. Go on, it, lad. Go on. Get your texting done. Don't matter if you're more people down. This is a proper set of traffic lights. I thought it was a Pelican Crossing. It's actually a four-way set of traffic lights. There's a junction on the right and a junction on the left. Slightly staggered. Wow. Right, well, they're far enough. I'm doing 30 and they're disappearing. Beaumont College Academy. So I assume we might be in Beaumont now because I'm sure Beaumont is a place. Is he going to press the button? Is she going to press the button? No, they're not pressing the button. Dynasty Barbers. Yeah, you wouldn't call you Barbers that, would you? So, yeah, that was what uh, Sweeney Todd should have called us. Dynasty. End up in pies. Die pasty. Ha! <laughs> Dying you're in a pasty. Die pasty. Get me call. Uh, right, we need to go left here. Uh, right here, because I think I know where I am now. Problem is, all these cars on the left can go right as well, so they, do they know something I don't know? Yeah, you floor it, mate, in your Beamer. I'm the only person in this lane. I think I've copped up. I'm sure it's two lanes, though, because this is the main way into Warrington, and this will take us to B&Q. And Nikia. Ikea. They're going as well, do we get right away? No, they're not going. Okay, so we can turn. I'm going to assume that they're turning as well. Which they're not. There's only me turned on the car behind me. So I'll move over and let the car behind me get past me. Oh, Nando's. Looking a bit tatty, to be fair. Well, I think the wood's meant to do that. Well, nearly all these units are still occupied as well. That's quite good. 
a cuff sucker. Cuff, cuff guns. Okay. Right, I might be down here for years, and I'm sure they were building them at the end then. They might probably won't finish them until uh, they've rented the ones next to it. Kind of makes sense. for it, then I change my mind. Because I don't want to quit the lights change. There's a lot of... So we're going any second now. Yep, there we go. Swim. And what you do there? The people are queuing up outside. We're now in Winwick. We're going up to the M62. Again, I don't quite know we're crossing the M62 twice, but you know, just go with me on this. And then we're into Premier Inn, and Brewers Fair. So we're on the A49. Tesla in front of it. Wheel drive. Hmm. For new to slow wheel drive. I thought they had a lot of torque in these things. Jesus. Dean Q and Burger King. Right, doesn't know what lane to drive in. No one behind me. Let's move across the road because we're in the Tesla, we can do that. No love you can't. That's one of the first Burger Kings I ever went to as well and they left. I don't remember much about it other than the sauce that sticks to the roof of your mouth. Which at best is vile. Uh oh. Well, I can't believe that. Another, another car has come through as well. That car there, the lorry was indicating, and the car blasted past and then cut in front of the lorry to undertake us. Absolute arsehole. Tesla's back. That is going to cut in front of us now, and he can go right round the roundabout. Oh no, he carries straight on. So he just thought he'd overtake the lorry and then cut in front of the lorry for a laugh. Fantastic. Right then, so we're. Uh, a little bit of a dual carriageway that takes you to the M6. And then we'll come off the M6 fairly quickly actually. We'll be on it for a short while and then we'll be straight off it again.
my uh, let's ex whoa, whoa! Let my Explorer videos. Uh, even though you've never heard of it, I do recommend the uh, last one I put up, time of the recording of this, because there's two jokes on that that I actually said without realizing I made them, and then one of them you see me getting the joke, I'm like going, oh, I think I just got that. Right, so we're now on the M6 northbound. No street lighting. Oh, bugger. Right, well, I normally ram it down here, but I'm going to go slow because I've got to get behind this truck. Nice Audi driver. Pull out there to let me get past the truck. So M6 northbound. Not a cloud in the sky, well very few clouds in the sky, nothing to give us these thunderstorms, but they could brew up over the next couple of hours. Like they did the other night. Where people get Audis and then on the grill cover the um, the Audi logo or I make a I'll put a black one on where you can't see it. You got an Audi. At least warn people that you're a prat when they you're behind them in the senior review mirror. Don't hide the fact. I'm saying that because there's an Audi behind me who's just pulled behind me again as well. to the East Lanks, A580 Junction. We'll be coming off at the next junction. God, I am sweating like a... something that sweats a lot. at the minute. Imagine this is coming off here, yeah, BMW. We're coming off at the next one. Another BMW coming up behind me with a half roof box thing on. Looks a bit weird really. We're all pulling out because this car is coming. Right, that articulated lorry should um, get out of the way, yeah, with all the uh, well, Citroen and Ford cars on it. Seems to want a new plate now. Across. Now that is not the BMW I was on about, the BMW is still behind me, but they've got a roof rack on as well, that vehicle. And here's a speedy mini. Wigan Pier, use Junction 25. It's not there other than a building site now, but if you like building sites, fill your boots. Or at least put your boots on because it's bloody. We are coming off here because we're going to Wigan Town Centre. Uh, so we're going to uh, Tesco. Don't oh, use the BMW I was on about. With the half roof rack thing on. Roof box thing. Sixty at the minute, which is a bit disturbing because I was kind of hoping we get past that lorry. If 
before we got to the, uh, the marker boards, but we're pretty much at the marker boards, so I'm going to pull in here. Plenty of room between me and the Range Rover towing thingy. Oh, there's a strap there on the floor. but we're doing this at 55 today. Yeah, I thought the blue car would go down there and then break because someone pulled in front of him because he was in the wrong lane to begin with. Didn't see him. A lot of traffic here. It's just ten past six, I suppose. Ooh, Bruce Fair seems deader than a dead doornail on a dead day in Deadland. There's not a lot going on. Right, I'm going to take the new, the new road because I'm excited by it. That's an overstatement. When I say I'm excited by it, I'm not even remotely excited by it. Oh, golly gosh! I can not look windows now, can I? breathe. I think I might go into uh, Tesco with a lit cigarette, no shit on and no mask and see what they do me for. It's a decent exposure, you're not wearing a mask or having a cigarette, I'll just let me walk around anyway. The problem with that is I need to go in and buy some cigarettes because I don't actually have any, and I don't smoke. So I'll scrap that idea. It was a rubbish idea. What were you thinking of? And so how many vehicles? There's your impatient uh, blue car, the Focus. All these cars are turning right here, these lights. So how many cars are going down the new road? This is now like a video within a video. It's very exciting. I do like a video within a video. It's like the anticipation and the excitement just mounts and mounts and mounts. It's a left hand drive mini I've just passed. There's a nice cool breeze blowing but it's not helping. Right then, so we're coming down now towards the new bypass. Two of us. 
Oh no, he's not coming round. <laughs> right, so out of all the cars that come round the round of, uh, come through the traffic lights, not all queuing up to go right, there's two of us who've actually come to the new road. There's myself, who's doing just over 40, I've slowed down a bit. I'm doing 45, okay, slower, slower. There we go, 40. And him. We're the only two out of all the cars that were at the traffic lights who have um, come on the new road. All the rest prefer to queue up and go down Pillstock Lane. Interesting to see we see blue... Um, I don't think we will because he got stuck in the yeah, blue Fiesta, the Focus. There's people sunbathing over there, the sun's not even out on the flash. Someone ran a bike with a phone in his hand. Yay! Well done. Right. So it's rush hour. It's uh little bit after six there's a car there that's just parked up that's where the road needs to carry on and take you to the top of Winnick so you can get on the M6 that's what you need to do with this road not take it the way it's gone makes no sense and a motorbike going the other way there's a few cars coming the other way it's ironic because it's actually quicker to go down Pillstock Lane even the rush hour as we proved a while ago. So we're going to come out here. I'm going to go in the right hand lane mainly because I need to be in the right hand lane. Do I? No, I don't. Oh, I don't know. Oh, look, there's the van and the white cars and everything that we're uh, turning at the roundabout, at the traffic lights. So they beat us. And there's a lot of them. Is that the blue? No, it's not. Oh, we've been driving by another car as well. Not very cunning this car. I did have the one that just cools you down, but to be honest, it just et fuel. It didn't really make a huge amount of difference. Plus, if I turn it on now, I'll get Legionnaire's disease or something. to get in the left hand lane. Hopefully after this junction, quite a few cars normally turn left here. As we go under the railway bridge. So it's 18, 17, 24, over and a half degrees according to the car. 13th of the 8th, 2020. And annoyingly, One of the cars has turned left, so I'm going to fit in that gap that they, they had, they left. So we've got the uh, Grand Arcade, 
which I think is up for sale at the minute if you want to buy it. That's my news agents. They're going on. Don't tell me that car's going all the way across. That car's going all the way across. Brilliant. Well done, little car. Well, not a lot of cars have turned off here, so I think I was lucky to squeeze in when I did. There's something hanging from the bottom of that silver car in front of us. The one that's now indicating it's coming to our lane. Causing absolute carnage. Yes, I know I did it before. Listen carefully, you can hear the river Dougie as well. I think. Or is it just my engine? So we're at Tesco's. I saw that mouse plane as well. Well, a bit lower down, it would be lovely. So, oh, holy moly, and all that. We all love going shopping. We do like going shopping. Shopping's good. Hi, John. Uh, and uh, Gold Dalek. Yeah, I was going to actually. Um, today I was setting off to go to Stockport and ended up um, in Colchester instead. So, that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? You've got the guy stood there when I've got no top on. Brilliant. Look at like pasty fat men. They were very white. It's only about that job. It's shit in the winter, but you get a hell of a ton in the summer. Ugh. Oh, this shirt's wet. Ah, because of the sweat. Ugh. Oh, it stuck to me back as well. Oh, that's horrendous. Ugh. God, there's nothing like being sweaty, is there? Nothing pleasant about being sweaty, anyway. Uh, mask. Card. Phone. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching and interacting. If indeed you are, did, did, whatever. Uh, I will see you later. My mask has dried out as well after the uh, excessive rain that we had. When it got very wet. I can't remember why it got wet. Oh, it got wet because it was in my pocket. Because I'd gone to get some Alecky for me... Uh, in my house on the key thing that's what it was anyway uh just gonna do some show pan so thank you very kindly and i will see you uh soon take care bye <laughs>